Hi, this is Tudor Nick P and this is Proverbs 510. Title of the video today is A Rose by Any Other Name Would Smell As Sweet. Okay, if somebody wants a screenshot, do it right now. Let's get right to it. If someone says a rose by any other name would smell as sweet, means that a person's name does not reflect his or her basic qualities, or basically meaning the actions of people are most important, not what they are called or their name. Okay, let's continue. The phrase uh, derives directly from Shakespeare's play, Romeo and Juliet. Here is a quote by the character Juliet. What's in a name? That which we call a rose by any other name would smell as sweet. Okay. Uh, remember in the play, Romeo belonged to the Montag family, which were longtime rivals of her family. So the problem really was Romeo's last name. Uh, because he had that last name, it made him a bad guy because that was the rival family. But she's saying, well, and if it wasn't for his name, he'd just be as sweet as anybody else. He'd be as sweet as roses really are because he is like a rose to me. That's kind of the idea there. All right, let's continue. Uh, and we got three examples here to show just how it's used. It doesn't matter if that celebrity keeps her stage name or uses her husband's uh, new, her new husband's last name. I will still be her fan. A rose by any other name would smell as sweet. Good. Number two, that company thinks by changing their name, the public will soon forget about their scandals. They can't fool us. A rose by any other name. All right. So sometimes we just stop it there too. We don't always add would smell as sweet. And number three here, you could try to demonize and badmouth that politician, but people admire him and can see his results no matter what they call him, is of no significance. A rose by any other name would smell as sweet. Okay, anyway, I hope you got it. I hope it was clear. I hope it was very informative. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.